The Immortal John Hancock here, and I'm going old school today. And I thought I'd share my Sega Master System US collection with you today. And so in this video, I'm gonna share what I have, everything I've collected over the years, put it all together in one video. Let's take a look. This is my US Sega Master System collection. I do have a complete game collection. I don't have all the variants, but I have many of the major variants. And so I'm gonna go over and show you my collection as best I can. And I've done some other videos on Master System, but I haven't really covered it all at once. I have a blue cart variation video that I'll put a link to, but this is everything I have for my US Master System collection. 114 games for the set. And right here are kind of the more common Master System boxed uh, systems that you find in North America. And you're probably wondering, why do you have two? They look the same. Well, there's one actually has that. There's a couple other box variations, but it has the Hang On Safari Hunt built in. Kind of cool, it's got the Montgomery Ward sticker on it. Now this one's really actually pretty hard to get. This is the Sega Base System. Very difficult to find in the US. It's got kind of a gray box, smaller than this box. It's kind of nice to have it in comparison. Very first Master System to be released in the US. Here's a Master System 2. Here it is, it's Sega 3D Scope set box. It's in decent shape, a little banged up. And then this is a refurbished base system that I got. It came from Canada. So that's kind of cool, kind of an oddity. But yeah, it's kind of, you don't see the, it called the base system too much because it was an early release. Uh, I do believe it was sent to stores for um, demoing the, the master system. The accessories that I have, I don't have a box controller. I do believe a controller was sold on blister packs as well. But I don't have an extra controller, but I have a really nice shaped Sega sports pad, pretty hard to get. I have the rapid fire control stick combo, really tough to get this. Got this a long time ago from friends at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, Nick and Lacey of Video Game Wizards, good friends of mine. Boxed. Sega Light Phaser and the Sega 3D glasses. Pretty good shape too. So that's the hardware that I have. And then the games. So you're gonna see doubles as I do this, and the doubles are the blue cart variations. And the Games themselves were blue labeled. I did a video on this and the actual game cases are different too. Sometimes just by the bold font. So I'm going through here. So the first one right there, Alex Kidd and Merrick World. The re-release, as you can see, it's it's got different font on the front of that. Black Belt's another one. That's why I have a double. California Games, another blue card variation. Get the glare here, I gotta come down here. Choplifter, another blue card variation. Love Choplifter on Master System. Columns, part of the uh, Master System 2 launch. And so they took some Sega Genesis games and marketed them for the Master System. Double Dragon, another blue cart. 
Enduro Racer. F-16 Fighting Falcon was one of seven Sega cards released in North America. Fantasy Zone. Ghostbusters, pretty tough uh, blue card to get. One of my favorite uh, Master System versions is Ghouls and Ghosts. I like it quite a bit. Now, Golden Axe Warrior, that's one of the uh, harder US games to get, especially with the lit UPC label on the back. The Great Sports Series. <laughs> A couple different pack in variations. Another very difficult game to get in North America. James Buster Douglas Boxing. Very tough to get. My last game actually for my set to complete was Montezuma's Revenge. I needed the manual. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. My Hero, another Sega card. The Ninja, one of my favorite Master System games. There's another variation here, Outrun. Paperboy. Now this Fantasy Star doesn't have a blue card, but the uh, spine has a large, bold font. So it was just a variant, and I just thought I'd include it. One has a battery backup uh, label on the front the other one doesn't so there's just a lot of weird stuff like that for master system power strike it's the uh, mail order uh, pretty tough to get rambo this is probably one of the tougher uh, blue cart variations to get and the, the uh, case is different too There's Reggie Jackson's baseball. There is a blue card variation of that. And right there. R type. Slap shot. It's one of the oddities that uh, like Alex Kidd Shinobi World has a it's a blue card, but there's in the U.S., that's for, that's the only way to get it. Spider-Man, another one that had a, uh, a sticker on the back of the case, but the manual looks pal. And there it is. That's uh, that's the holy grail for Master System U.S. And it's just the same as the PAL release, just a sticker on the, the back to show it's a U.S. release. My Strider still has a shrink wrap on it. It's coming apart, but it's sealed. The Wonder Boy, there's two different Wonder Boy variations. There's Wonder Boy in Monster Land, and then there's a variation that says Super Wonder Boy in, uh, on the actual label. Super Wonder Boy and Super Monster Land. So, there is a variation of that. Now, only have very few homebrews. There's other homebrews as well. Uh, Sydney Hunter, The Sacred Tribe by um, Collector Vision. Fantastic game. I did a, a video on it. And so, and then this is just an unreleased educational Sonic game. <laughs> So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And you're probably wondering, what are these three cards here? Well, those were some of my very first games I rented as a kid for the Master System from Bowman Video in Cottonwood, California. And as you can see, the number 13 there, 
but uh, inside the, is the address, the address and rental sticker still on the carts. So that's it. That's my Master System collection. And I wanted to share it in its entirety. I do these videos because a lot of people want to know, you know, what was released in the US and very few people can put it together to show it like this. And I just want to help other collectors out. And I hope it helps you out. I hope you enjoyed it. So there you have it. That's my US Master System collection. What is your favorite game? What are your memories playing Master System? Comment below. And as always, thank you for the ongoing support. Let's keep it positive. It's been a while since I did a complete collection video and I know some people have been requesting it and I like to share my complete collections with you to show you what was released in a certain region. So I had a lot of fun with this video. It was nice to dig out my Master System stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Hit that like and subscribe button as I upload every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock and you take care.